Hi everyone, I'm Numfundo and today I'll be taking you guys along as I apply for my USA tourist visa. Yep, perks of having an African passport. It's November and we don't have any Christmas plans, so babe suggested we go to the USA. So I had to find information on how long it will take for the visa to be issued because it's already November, we want to go in December. What documents are required? How much it costs? You know, all of those things. And it's an understatement me saying that i was not happy with the process have you ever filled in a u.s visa application before let me know in the comments below because my picture got accepted then it got rejected then i lost my passport and i found it it was just a roller coaster but it was all worth it because two days after starting my research my visa was approved and we're going to the usa okay no not today obviously not today if you're new here hi i'm south african baby is german and we both live in switzerland we both love traveling and since i haven't been working for 11 months i took it upon myself obviously to share our life with you guys here on youtube since we met in 2022 i've shown babe south africa we went to cape town we explored durban we went to Mpumalanga. He's taken me along on his most of his work trips we've gone to greece we've gone to germany we've gone to Austria, we've gone to Poland, name a country, we've been there. But now we're finding ourselves in a situation where we have to make last minute Christmas plans because Babe just found out that his, he won't be working this year on Christmas, unlike other years where he's always been working. So for the first time in like forever, he is free for Christmas. So we never made any plans because usually he's working. So now that is why I am finding myself having to apply for a visa in short notice. And you might be thinking, why America, right? I've never been to America. Babe loves America. He would love for us to move to America. So he decided that maybe if we go there on holiday, I see it. Maybe I like it. And then maybe we can move there. So this video is a part one of the whole entire process. Today, I'll be showing you guys the day that I was preparing my documents as well as the interview. So let's get into the video hi guys hi 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 oh let me not look at the camera rather look at the stairs because i might just fall if i look at the camera and try to walk down the stairs anyways how are you guys doing i hope you guys are all doing well and you're doing good i should i should have a beanie on honestly my i just stepped not even outside oh no the door opened Anyways, the doggy door opened because it's like it senses. Anyways, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. And today, whew, kids are kids are playing outside. It's nice and sunny today, so you would expect that. But anyways, how are you guys doing? I've been saying I think this is the third time I'm saying that. Anyways, let me get into the car and then we'll talk. So exciting things, exciting things, but not really exciting. So yeah, the bags you saw me carrying, that's the trash. I figured since I'm going out, cause I, I really, honestly speaking, I do not go out often to take out trash or not, not even just to take out trash in general, but just in, in general, I don't drive and go somewhere like this. I'm going to the supermarket or I have to be somewhere specific. So anyways, today has been a good day, guys. Oh my word, the sun was out. I found a new route that I took for my 5K walk, jog, slash. So, so yeah, so anyways, it's, it's sunny as you guys can see the sun is shining like it was well, obviously the sun is going down now like it's covered by the clouds but it's been a good day so this is not why we're here so i'm sure you guys saw in the title of the video i am preparing to go and i've, I've applied online already so i've applied i've booked i filled in my form yesterday for my US tourist visa and I submitted a picture a picture that I took for my 
oh someone is walking on my <laughs> on my path that I discovered today well yeah I took a um, I, I submitted a picture with the application which is the picture that I actually took for my permit application my Swiss residence permit application and the online system actually accepted it because even before I could actually why, why is this person driving Oof, people people just want to give me a heart attack I'm driving a big car so if someone is driving like not properly it scares me so yeah so anyways I, I submitted a picture that same picture and the online system accepted it they said yes your picture is fine it, it meets our requirements this morning I wake up I see something from the US Embassy so I check like on my emails and it's about the picture so they rejected the picture they said I shouldn't bring it with me because my appointment is tomorrow I'm very impressed as well that I I did the the online application yesterday and the first available date for an interview interview appointment was tomorrow the 16th so two days later which for me is like very impressive because most of the time with well in South Africa Maybe it's because people here don't really need visas. People from here, I don't know. They don't need like a visa to go to the USA. Maybe that's why it's not that busy. But anyways, I feel like now I'm just rambling. So now I'm going to, I need to take a new picture, which I'm going to do now. And also I need to make a copy of my residence permit. I need to print out a few supporting documents so like bank statements uh, to show funds that are available for when we are there like that we can support each other i already have a copy of hubi's passport i just checked like for previous i don't know why we have it there but i, I guess from previous documents that we needed but we already have that so that is great i already have a copy of his passport just in case a copy of our marriage certificate i have and i need to make copies of the confirmation letter for the um, appointment and payment i'm just gonna print the payment one just in case so yeah so i'm gonna start at the there's like a is it a coop coop a coop i don't know how it, like i say coop because it's c-o-o-p but babe says coop so i'm gonna start at coop and i am going to make a copy there's a there's a, a photocopier there that i used the last time when i was applying for my permit and then there's also a photo there i'm gonna see if that one is working take a new picture apparently so i checked there's this great group that i'm on like i'm in, in on facebook and i just asked them dave there about the requirements for the picture and where i can get the picture from and so people just advise me on how to actually get the specific picture so i'm going to do that hopefully the picture is perfect so that is why like i don't have anything on my face because i don't want my picture to be rejected again so i have nothing like my hair i tied back i am i don't have makeup on i don't have any well i don't wear makeup anyways so i am just natural as natural as one can be because the appointment is tomorrow morning so i need to drop like an hour to get to burn from chevy and yeah and then what's this yeah so oh yeah so after making the copies and taking a picture if i can take a picture because the last time the booth wasn't working if i take a picture then i will go to another small shop oh, you guys will see obviously then when i get to the shop they they print however i hope this time they can print for me because the last time i sent an email and then they were like eh and it's like viruses that the computer saying that there's virus and i'm like what the like just open the freaking stuff and print but anyways we'll see and it also it really doesn't help because i don't speak french and people don't speak english either so yeah so anyways guys i am actually entering kosovo i am literally like probably a minute away from where i'm gonna stop and let's do this so these are the photo booths here we'll see we'll start with it and check if it is if 
it is so you see let's go in and see if it works today last time it was not working or maybe it was me that just didn't know how to use it because I ended up let me change because I ended up having to use a different one finding another one by a Negro which is in Corsone as well but a, a bit further down so let's see if we can use this today I'm not sure if you guys can see but it's only giving me Switzerland option and EU option so it's actually very difficult because I can't even I'm not even sure Oh, I don't know what they're saying. Oh, other languages. Thank you. Hello and welcome. Thank you for choosing our photo booth. So previously I used the Swiss one. I don't know if I press this. Okay, so let me try and figure this thing out, guys. Oh no. Bad. So let's just start over. Okay, so this is our little printing shop. I hope they can print for me today. So guys, I I couldn't take the picture here because it's you saw it, it's giving me only the two options. Swiss, which is the one I currently have and I use and they reject it and eu so i'm not even sure anymore i don't know i'm looking for the car key like where is the car key it's supposed to be in my bag in my handbag found it but today i got lucky i emailed the documents that i needed to print hopefully they don't ask for a lot more because guys like i honestly don't know i've never done a us visa before and this is my first time, let me go put you guys here while I get ready. This is my first time and I honestly don't know what they want. Oh my word, so they said confirmation page, copy of my permit, proof of funds, proof that I'm gonna come back, which I've got my marriage certificate and a letter from Kubi's work saying that he works there obviously. And yeah, I, I honestly don't know, hey? So yeah, so wish me luck. I'm going to another photo booth, which is just a few minutes down, but because of traffic and not actually traffic, but because there's roadworks where I need to pass. So it will take me longer than two minutes. Like it's, it's, it takes less, oh, wow, tongue twister. It takes less than five minutes to get to the bottom, but because, of the roadworks it was it's gonna take longer so i'm going to drive guys and i will see you guys in the next booth okay i got the other documents now it's only the picture okay it seems like it's the same thing honestly so i drove all the way to here for the same thing but anyways let's go in huh let's see let's see let's see oh lord this one is easier. I think this one, that's why I liked this one because it's very easy. And, hmm. oh yeah, this one you see has the, um, yay, 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 EU, USA, perfect. ID photos, EU, USA, perfect. So this one, this booth is better. This one is better. I think this is the one they wanted. For US visa photos. Oh my word. All right guys, so yeah, so this machine is, like you guys could see as well, the machine is way better. And the only sucky thing is that it does not take, does not give change, so I need to get the exact amount. So what I did the last time, I already have five. So yay, I just need to go change the 20 and I need to buy something. Last time I bought a 
<laughs> like Fanta Berry. I think this is where I got introduced to Fanta Berry and I loved it. But anyway, so this time I think I'm going to go inside the, um, the coop. Oh yeah, so guys, I made a mistake, right? I said the other booth and where I print, where I make copies is a coop, but it's actually a make roll. The coop is this one. So the booth and in coop is better than the one in Migro. It's still Cosone, but it's Cosone at the top, and then this is Cosone Pentha. Bundo, Bundo. I don't know how the French say it. It's like Pentha last, guys. But yeah, but anyway, so let me go get changed. I'm going to go buy something to eat inside the, the, the coop to get my 10, because I already have 5, and yay, we got our pictures. <laughs> got myself some chicken. It was like 4, 420. I'm gonna have it with some some soup later at home. So yeah guys, back in the booth. Let's do this. I will see you guys when I'm done, okay? So the pictures come out here. I ended up taking whatever, cause all of them they kept on saying they may not be accepted. Well, if they don't take this one, I don't know what they want because yeah we'll see tomorrow i guess because they kept on saying my photo does not meet the requirements so yeah let's see how it goes honestly i am i don't know what they want i do not know what they want so yeah anyways guys see you guys later good morning guys so yeah it's the next morning it's November 16th and it is my US Embassy appointment date and guys I'm gonna put it down here again like yesterday oh guys I'm not okay I couldn't sleep like usual but mainly because I lost my passport yesterday <laughs> What a day, right? I think I forgot it in Migro, so I am going to start there now because I need it. I can't go without it. So if I don't find it, then I'm going to try and see if I can reschedule. I don't know, guys. So wish me luck. Hopefully I find it and everything is good. So yeah, guys, So I'm going to drive now and I'm praying that I find my passport. It's so scary, but anyways, let us go. I will update you guys once. And I hope it's open because it says it opens at 7.30. Flip. Let me see. Okay. It says it opens at 7.30, right? So I am not sure. I've never needed to go this early. I've never been that side this early. But I hope it does because obviously maybe it caters for people that are going to work. Or I don't know. I don't know. It's actually quite light outside. It's lighter than I expected it to be. So that's great. So yeah, so I have all my other documents there. I think it's because I was panicking yesterday. I don't know. Or yeah, it's just doing a lot of things because of the picture. So I wasn't here. Yeah, and I, I wish that I actually checked when I got home my documents because i decided to check my documents at like at 10 p.m when i was getting ready for bed and i was looking for my passport and i went to my handbag and i was like where is my passport and i started panicking because i was like flip the last time i saw it was when i was making copies and I, t I, I was hoping that it's in the car. I came to the car to look for it, etc., etc. All right, guys. I am driving in a on a road that I honestly ugh, do not like. So let me go because it's very narrow and it's a two-way, very narrow road. So let me go. The road. <laughs> You guys see this road so another car was passing when i was saying okay guys let me go because it was another big car like mine so you see look at how tiny this is so you need to be very you need to concentrate so i will see you guys on the other side okay i didn't bring my 
my camera but i'm using my phone but look at this guys it is actually still sitting here like oh my word i found it i found it right where i thought i left it i found it guys oh my word god is amazing like like guys god is a amazing oh my god wow like i re literally found it where i left it like on the cop here i was i was praying that nobody that nobody actually used the cop here because they would find it and they would give it to somebody and 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 i might have to be you know with french and all of that jazz but anyways i found it i found it and so i can go and i was also hoping that they don't clean you know clean up and all of that jazz but anyways we got it so let's go okay just as i'm taking out the camera the traffic moves anyways guys you guys saw that i got my passport right where i left it i left the camera like in the car because i was not in the mood for like cameras and all of that i literally just went straight to the i literally just went straight to okay we're stopping again so great i literally went straight to the machine the copier i opened it and voila it was right where i left it so now we pray that i have everything everything is fine and i get to the embassy and they accept all my documents but yeah guys yo so anyways i will see you guys when i get to burn i've got an hour 14 minutes to drive according to my 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 maps so yeah see you guys in burn i've arrived in burn and I am still in the car because I found parking right opposite where I'm supposed to go to and I was just checking my time. I need to be there no earlier than 15 minutes before my appointment. So yeah, so guys, yo, thank God. Like yo, I was not okay from last night. I'm so tired of driving as well. Like I do not like driving at all. I am starving right now, so I'm going to have these. I found these in the cupboard because I was looking for a mask. Somewhere while I was looking for things that I need to prepare, I saw somewhere something about a mask and I forgot to bring it with. So I was looking for a mask here and I found this cloth that I'm just going to take with me just in case they do require a mask, that I have a mask. I have this to use as a mask, so hopefully fingers crossed they do not because baby used to have masks in in the cabin hall here in front but i think i threw them out somehow yeah the parking here guys there's people just driving around looking for parking i don't know how it works i got lucky somebody left when i arrived actually there was a parking there i couldn't get in i tried it was too tiny for me it was close to the wall so it was tiny and there's open parking but for paraplegics so yeah so now i am going out unfortunately i cannot take you guys with me because nothing is allowed in there except for yourself and your documents because even your phone and your bag you have to leave it somewhere so i'm gonna leave the camera here i will see you guys when i come back and i'll tell you guys how it all went but i am praying that everything goes well because yeah it's been a hectic two days basically so i'm praying that god is with me and he has favor um, for me when i get there and the person that i deal with is quite nice with whatever documents i have and i'm not missing anything and i've got everything that they need so pray with me guys and hopefully i'll see you guys when i come back and go find some place to eat because i'm hungry see you guys later this is my view from KFC. So this is the train station just here. And I'm having KFC. Because yeah, whenever I can, I get myself a KFC. I'm having iced tea because I've been having soda. The trains are moving. So I would have, it's actually close to the embassy guys. So I could have taken a train if I needed to. Okay guys, let's have some KFC. I've got my chips as usual. These are my wings. This is one chicken piece. Chicken piece. Yeah. I think I got a drumstick. 
Yep, because I wanna I haven't had like normal chicken here. So these are my wings. My zinga wings, they're supposed to be hot. I hope they're hot. So yeah guys, anyways, I will tell you all about how everything went later.